hello everyone so we will continue discussing the service now best practices in this video as well so we have discussed a few service now best practices in previous videos so the next one is uh, avoid dom manipulation so it is always recommended that do not use dom objects basically document object model uh, in your scripted while you are doing the service now scripting uh, it can cause multiple issues like uh, it can cause a maintainability issue when browsers are updated the only exception is when you can use a uh, dom that is in ui pages in the service portals so apart from that if you are uh, doing the scripting in business rules and workflows and any other places in service now uh, try to not use the dom objects because uh, down the line it can cause uh, multiple problems in a your instance and the functionality you developed uh, may not work after upgrade or anything updated in browsers use condition in business rule it is always recommended to run your code at particular instance when it is required don't make a business rule which runs for your particular specific purpose or for your particular requirement as well as it is running when it your requirement is not there on your form or in in that particular condition so it is always good assess your uh, requirement and try to come with a particular event or particular situation where where your business rule or your any code should run and put those condition in that business rule so that it just runs when your specific event or specific condition mats so that it is running only when it is required so since business rules are evaluated whenever a insert update delete or query action is made to a record it is important to ensure you are using conditions so conditions are evaluated before the rule is executed okay so first point when system tries to run business rule it evaluate the conditions so if you are putting a valid or proper condition the code written inside the business rule will not be running unnecessary then prevent recursive business rule it is always good to do not put system in recursion mode so to do that basically do not use current dot update in business rule script the example here soon uh, basically we are trying to update the stage of same record in the business rule however when we will be saving automatically that value will got saved the update method triggers business rule to run the same table for insert and update operation potentially leading to a business rule calling itself over and over you can prevent recursive business rule by using the set workflow method with the false parameter as current dot set workflow false but uh, you should note that set workflow false stops all other executions so other functionality may got impacted on your um, basically module or maybe on your table so before using that make sure uh, you are using it correctly and uh, other things are not getting impacted so you need to test uh, it uh, in a regressive manner basically use script include instead of global business rules so do not write global business rules a global business rule is a business rule where the selected table is global so when you do not select any specific table uh, while creating a business rule uh, you just select as a global that becomes a global business rule and global business rule runs on every page load so any other script can call global business rule global business rule have no condition and 
table restriction and load on every page in the system and that will cause the system performance issue and your system may get slow over the period because again system will be having loads load of uh, records being inserted in your tables and then these global types of business rule will be again putting some load to the system and it will impact your system performance and your system will get slow and your users will face slowness in loading the records or opening the service now instance a script includes only load when called therefore use a script include instead of a global business rule so a script include basically whenever you will call from a particular place they will call at that time only however global business rule runs on every page load so we should avoid writing global business rules thank you for watching the video i will be back with next video